What's going on internet? Crisper here and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to turn a 2D object into a 3D object in Photoshop and make it rotate and spin. Alright, I get a lot of questions about this one as well. Crisper, how do you make 2D object 3D and spin? I see a lot of people on the internet selling NFTs like cards are spinning and coins are spinning. You know, that's great if that's what you want to do. So, uh, I actually did this in one of my collections for the NFT uh, Ecstasy collection. So, whatever. I know how to do it, so I'll show everybody as well. So, what you're going to want to do is open up your Photoshop. All right, and I have my template here for my NFT Ecstasy. Go buy one. I'm telling you, those suckers are hot. Make yourself some money. 0.01 weath. All right, so I've imported a new two-dimensional flat object of a piece of ecstasy like a strawberry okay this is flat all right so what you're gonna want to do is go to 3d okay over here and you're gonna want to do 3d extrusion extrusion and you're gonna want to hit create okay so now you can see we have this 3D object, okay? And we're gonna come up here to this, the coordinates button. And I'm going to rotate this so I can see it on its side okay so that's super thick and I don't want it super thick so we're gonna come down here to the extrusion material first to the extrusion material and see the base color I'm gonna change the base color and I've got an eyedropper here and I'm gonna change the color let me pull that up as you can see. So I'm going to change the color so it looks about right. Okay, good for me. So we have changed the extrusion material color. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the preview and I'm going to change the extrusion depth to 10 pixels. And let's go ahead and go to our infinite light. Okay. We want to uncheck the shadow. If you do, I do on this one particularly. Okay. And I'm going to take the intensity level down to 50. Okay. All right, so now we have a two-dimensional object that's 3D. Let's go back to our strawberry down here in our layers. And let's go back to our coordinates. And as you can see here, as we spin it, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and go back to this light. 50% looks pretty low here let's bring that intensity up a little bit um, that looks good whatever it doesn't matter it's just art right okay and we're gonna come back to our strawberry go back to the coordinates and we're gonna reset that back to zero okay and then we also are going to move it there we go Whoa, it's going to go so far out. Slow down there, cowboy. Right there. Okay, that looks good to me. All right, so we've got a 2D object. We turn it into 3D. We come to the extrusion material. We change the edges of it so it matches the front color of it. Okay, we change the 
extrusion depth so it's not super fat because this is a pill you can have yours as fat as you want this is a pill so it needs to be relative it looks it needs to look relative and then we have changed the intensity of the light and removed the shadow okay so let's come over here to windows timeline okay and as you can see here we have this new 3d object this is strawberry sorry i didn't label it let's go to layers let's label this strawberry pill okay so now boom we're gonna bring this down to three frames just click it and drag okay so <clears throat> go ahead and click this drop down arrow and we're going to go down to 3d meshes do that drop down i believe and then we're going to click on preview okay so what we're doing is creating nodes here Let's stretch this out so we get a full grip. All right, so this one here, we're gonna come back to our coordinates. This one here, I wanna set to negative one. Okay, then I wanna come over here to 15 frame. So we're gonna go up to back up to your coordinates over here. Once you set it on the 15 frame marker, we're gonna go to negative 180 and hit enter. That creates another node. And then we're gonna come over to the last third frame at the very end. We're gonna set this one to a positive 179 and hit enter. This is gonna create another node. Okay, so let's take it back from the top. Everything should be rolling now. It's already processed through the frames. All right, so we're spinning, perfect. So yeah, that just took some time for mine to process all the frames and then once it does, then it picks up pretty quickly. So as you can see here, we are now have a two dimensional object. We turn 3D and then we're rotating it through the timeline by creating different um, nodes on um, the very bottom mesh okay so go ahead and if you got any questions below uh you know leave a comment below you should be able to figure everything out through this tutorial like i just uh demonstrated for you um and the the last thing here is this we're gonna go ahead and stop this now that th this is tricky too when you want to export your final product right so we've got that stopped. We're gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Okay, we're back. That took a minute to load as well. Goodness, if anybody wants to donate CRISPR a laptop, that'd be great. All right, so File, Save for Web Legacy. You're gonna to wanna to go to Original, you can save the uh, image height to whatever you want this one should be 900 by 1089 but i'm not going to um to change that um and let's go ahead and oh man save this okay so it says looping forever we've got it on original we got the correct image size. Let's go ahead and save desktop. And we're going to go to custom. All right, and this is going to be the red strawberry pill. Okay, go ahead and save that. So as you can see here, let me open up this file. It has exported and our image is rotating. So you got to go to save as legacy file, go back instead of optimize, go to original, 
Uh, make sure that your image is the correct size and go ahead and save and export and boom that's how you turn a 2d image into a 3d image and rotate it all right everybody i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did go ahead and hit subscribe like ring the bell or whatever you know or don't doesn't doesn't matter to me doesn't bother me at all but if you want more informational videos go ahead and do that and remember everybody that artists gonna art